Welcome to another episode of the Vixel Whiteboard video series. This is Daniel Chu from the Vixel Technical Marketing Team. In this video, I'll walk you through the various deployment options available with Vixel Notes. I'll be focusing my discussion on core Vixel deployment offerings, so I won't cover VMware Cloud Foundation on Vixel Solutions. And given the latest Vixel announcements with Vixel Dynamic Nodes and Satellite Nodes, it seemed like an apt topic to get into so everyone, including current Vixel customers, can be on the same page as to where these new offerings fit in the IT environment. So let's start off with VxWell at the data center. This is where you see a VxWell cluster running vSAN, starting with as few as three nodes with the possibility of expanding up to 64 nodes in a single cluster. Each node is running VxWell HCI system software, vSphere and vSAN, and has its own internal storage drives that form a vSAN data store. You'll have a few applications running on the cluster. And this is your VxO cluster with vSAN that most customers deploy. For some customers, there's a need for site resiliency to ensure application availability. If one site goes down due to some catastrophic event, for example, loss of power from inclement weather, you have another cluster at a secondary site that can automatically serve the same applications. And you can do this with a stretch cluster that stretches from one data center to the other. This type of setup helps address business continuity concerns. The secondary data center wouldn't be too far away, so that application performance isn't impacted too much at the primary site, as your rights are getting mirrored. Now you have a fault domain for each site in your stretch cluster. A customer's workload requirements are far-ranging. There are mission-critical applications that may require the level of data protection and resiliency offered by Dell EMC storage arrays. And some workloads are better suited for independent scaling of compute and storage to meet performance and cost objectives. To meet these objectives, customers can deploy storage arrays like PowerStore, PowerMax, or Unity XT and leverage those data services and provision storage to vSphere clusters for their virtualized applications. They can scale by adding more compute clusters as compute processing needs grow. While customers can attach storage from their arrays to vSphere clusters, they, especially VxL customers, desire more operational consistency and simplicity in how they can holistically perform lifecycle management across their vSphere clusters. With the frequency of software updates, Lifecycle management can be too time-consuming and tedious that many just want that easy button. Enter VxL Dynamic Nodes. VxL Dynamic Nodes are compute-only nodes running the same VxL HCI system software for a consistent operating experience. Dynamic Nodes do not have internal storage drives, nor do they have vSAN. For primary storage, they rely on external storage arrays or vSAN data stores shared via the VMware vSAN HCI mesh. For the external storage array option, Dynamic Nodes only support Dell EMC storage arrays. That's PowerStore T, PowerMax, and Unity XT. Customers can add more drives to increase capacity on the array, or they can add more nodes to a Dynamic Node cluster or more clusters to increase processing power. Now customers can deploy VxL Dynamic Nodes to run application workloads with enterprise storage array data services while continuing to benefit from the consistent LCM experience across all VxL clusters. Dynamic node clusters can also use data stores from other vSAN clusters as primary storage with vSAN HCI mesh for better resource utilization. By not requiring vSAN, use of dynamic nodes can result in license cost savings as some workloads disproportionately demand more compute power than storage resources. And for these workloads, you can grow your dynamic node clusters without incurring vSAN license costs while using storage from either an external storage array or a shared data store from another vSAN cluster. Going back to the IT environment view, as your IT environment expands, you may likely have sites that do not have the traditional facilities in place to house IT infrastructure. The sites could be space constrained, power constrained, susceptible to outdoor weather conditions, or just lack IT expertise needed to manage infrastructure. All these descriptions can fall under the category Edge Sites. 
While VxWell doesn't address every edge profile, we do have offerings that allow customers to extend the benefits of VxWell HDI system software and simplify lifecycle management into the edge. Customers can deploy a two-node VxWell cluster with vSAN that would require a witness appliance installed outside of the cluster. With the E-Series models being one rack unit in size, it can be a great solution for space-constrained facilities like remote or branch office environments. VxWell also has a D-Series models that is based on the PowerEdge XR2 platform, which is one rack unit in size with shorter depth and is ruggedized to withstand harsher climates and use. It also comes with a filtered bezel for dust resistance. Think mobile sites or rigs in military applications. Depending on the size of the edge location, a VxL cluster with vSAN may still be the right solution, perhaps as a branch campus for a university or a regional engineering office. Where you may consider two node clusters and standard VxL clusters with vSAN are at locations which sometimes are referred to as near edge. Another term is far edge, which are typically at much smaller and more remote sites. And for these sites, we see that customers are requiring further reduction in footprint, where hardware redundancy and application high availability aren't as critical as being able to process data where it's being created. And they're looking for more compelling cost structures. That's why VxWell has introduced satellite nodes. They are single node deployments that run the same VxWell HDI system software. Consider satellite nodes as individual hosts. They have their own internal drives, but there's no vSAN because it's not part of a cluster, though the data is RAID protected. So where would you deploy satellite nodes? Think of industries where there are many edge sites that run the same applications, but lack the space to install them and can tolerate lesser hardware redundancy and application availability than your typical data center infrastructure. It could be at retail shops, libraries, manufacturing floors, or I'll use this example, blood collection facilities like a Quest Diagnostics or a LabCorp. They have a lot of small locations in standalone offices, hospitals, and clinics. Having one satellite node in each office is all that they need to power their common applications. Things like scheduling, inventory, patient records, and payments. If the node goes down, they have many other locations in the area to direct their patients to until the node is back online. Typically, they have two to three people working there, and none of them are expected to manage IT. Satellite nodes are designed to be centrally managed by a VxL cluster with vSAN. So by having a VxL cluster at one regional office, IT personnel do not need to go on site to frequently service these satellite nodes. Users can go on VxL Manager for the VxL cluster to see the inventory information, health and events for the satellite nodes. For updates, the VxL user can push the LCM bundle to as many satellite nodes as they have. And from the VxL Manager on the VxL cluster, they can kick off those node updates. With VxL satellite nodes, you have consistent LCM experience and centralized management. As you can see, VxWell has expanded its deployment flexibility to address even more use cases. At the data center, you're able to deploy VxWell clusters with vSAN or stretch it across data centers for site resiliency. For applications that require storage rate resiliency or independent scaling of compute and storage, VxWell dynamic nodes provide that flexibility. As you look to expand more into the edge, VxWell offers a portfolio of options that can address a wide range of site requirements. You can deploy a VxWell cluster with vSAN and grow it as needed, or you can start even smaller with a VxWell 2 node cluster with vSAN. With the introduction of satellite nodes, VxWell can extend even further into your IT footprint. And no matter which offering it is, the common denominator is that they all run the same VxWell HCI system software backed by continuously validated states to deliver a consistent and secure operating experience. For more information about the various VxWell deployment options, you can check out the VxWell 2 node cluster and the stretch cluster planning guides on Dell Technologies Info Hub. 
There you can also find our latest podcast that dives deeper into the technical details of VxL Dynamic Nodes and VxL Satellite Nodes. Thank you for watching this episode on VxL Deployment Flexibility. Until next time, bye.